Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, everyone? This video has been long overdue, and with popular demand, I've decided to finally release my latest trading strategy to everyone. Now, I have been trying to find a very, very good strategy that I can use. And once I've found one uncomfortable with it and I've traded it and it's all good and it gets my thumbs up and it's 10 out of 10 and all that good stuff, I was going to then release it to everyone and upload it to my trading channel. So here we are. And like I mentioned, it's been a long time since I last uploaded a trading video and we're going to dive straight into this one. I'm going to try and cover as much as I can. I've got some notes down with me and I'm not sure how long this video is going to be on for. I'm going to try and get this video done as, as quick as I can. So let's dive straight into it. So the first thing you want to do or need to do is you need to change your candles to Heiken Ashi. Okay, the reason why Heiken Ashi is better than the normal candles is because the normal candles create some noise and it makes you want to exit a trade early and Heiken Ashi is just a lot more cleaner and you tend to stay in the move for a lot longer so for example i've got the candles on at the moment let's just quickly hide these indicators and can you see we're in the four hour time frame by the way and can you see i've got we're bearish here and then blue is for bullish and a lot of people will say you was on this uptrend here. A lot of people would maybe exit here. But if we switch this to Heiken Ashi, can you see how this is just consistent, consistently blue here? And you probably would have stayed in this trade for the longness of it, really, and probably still in it now. So really, really like Heiken Ashi. Let's just put on the first indicator. So I'm currently using a strategy called the 513.62 EMA. And this was first introduced to me by someone called Steve Greger. He was one of my old mentors. Really, really good guy. You can research him and look at some of his stuff i learned all about fibonacci with him and trading mindset and all that good stuff and he mentioned about this guy called rob booker the 513.62 ema crossover so you can research this guy as well he's got his own youtube channel he's got an ebook on this strategy so go and check out that guy as well just to get a more of understanding of this strategy but 5, 13, and 62 are ab actually Fibonacci numbers. I've just done a quick Google search on this, and as you can see, there's a Fibonacci numbers here. 5 is in there, 13 is there. And if you divide 55 by 89, you get 61.8. Now, this is the golden ratio of Fibonacci. You've probably had this shown to you in many many trading videos if you use your fibo retracement tool you will see as a default 61.8 is there so the 513 and the 62 are actually fibonacci numbers and price seems to attract to those areas as a magnet okay so by quick glance at this by having the five so i just quickly show you my settings here i have got 513.62 there's a indicator called 513.62 clouds i have the short ema which is five as yellow medium which is 13 as green and the long ema is as purple so you might want to add these same colors if you want to just so it looks more cleaner and you have a more 
understanding of what I'm referring to. So, as you can see, this is this is on US 30 four hour time frame. We had a beautiful liquidity grab here. It took out this previous low here and then price retraced back up. And if I zoom in here, can you see how it's tapped the 62 EMA there? It's tapped the 62 EMA there. So this was a beautiful buy signal here. And look how beautiful this trade was. I actually caught this move right here. Beautiful, beautiful trade. We're in the four hour time frame. Like catching this move here was absolutely beautiful. Now, I did not stare at the charts all the time. I actually had an alert go off. So if we go here and we go to more, add an alert, we can go to US 30 is crossing the long EMA and here you can set once per bar is what I normally set up uh, because if you do only once once the once the alert has triggered this this setting you don't get any more alerts so I tend to do once per bar once per bar close is just when the candle closes over the 62 ma but once per bar you get alerted as soon as it crosses the 62 ema so as soon as that alert is set when price basically touches this 62 ema i get the alert i look at the at the chart i can see we're in a a bullish trend because we're above the 62 EMA, I will provide my trading criteria and some rules nearer to the end of this video. But as we're in a bullish trend, price is above the 62 EMA. I've just gone for a buy. Stop loss, I reckon, I think I put it around there, but for safer bet, you could put the stop loss just below this low here. And yeah, caught this beautiful, beautiful trade. Now, guys, we've trading you need to see patterns happen over and over again and get in on those patterns if you don't see consistent patterns you don't have a trading criteria and you don't have a trading strategy full stop this happens all the time okay look look here price slammed down it's tapped the 62 ma it's come over it it's rejected. This was a buy signal right here. These are also liquidity grabs. If you don't know what liquidity grabs are, it's literally price coming down. It takes out a load of these buyers. Everyone's in a buy. Everyone's in a buy. Then all of a sudden you get a liquidity grab. It's taken everyone out and then price reverses. So you can get on here to catch this another trade. Now, if we was to get in here, where would you put your your take profit? I actually twin trade. So the first trade, I put the take profit probably above the previous high, which is here. So if you buy here, take profit was there. Can you see how it cleared there? And if you twin trade, the next trade, I don't set a take profit. So the TP2 is maybe if we go up here, can you see this previous high up here? Take profit could have been there and then you could have been out of the trade there. Now there's also another indicator called MTFA, multi time frame analyst whole moving average. This is actually by made by Steve Greger. This is free to download and it's more of an exit indicator than an entry indicator. However, you can still potentially use it for an entry. So going back to that trade the other day, can you see how we get this green signal here? 
So we could have took taken the trade just purely off this whole flip here. Okay. So those these are the two indicators I use. If if it's going to look a bit confusing at the start, don't worry about the whole moving average. We can hide that. But these are the two indicators that I use. Now, just doing some back testing on this. Can you see again how price slammed down here? So you could have bought there, take profit. Uh, didn't quite clear that one, but you could have still made some profit there. It slammed down again. You could have bought here and caught this move up here. Beautiful, beautiful trades. And like I mentioned, this happens like all the time. Another alert that you could set which I've been using quite a lot is when price hits the 13 EMA. So the 13 Fibonacci and I will show you, for example, here price is broke up. It's come back down. Can you see here how price has hit the 13 EMA? there so you could have bought there you could have bought there you could have even bought here some liquidity grab there you could have bought there and look at this beautiful move that you could have caught right from here all the way up here and this is on the four hour time frame so beautiful beautiful trades happen consistently with this 513 62 ema strategy for the cells gee before i go to the cells you can so when the five the 13 and the 62 all cross each other you can buy or sell for example if you look here the five the 13 and the 62 all crossed each other so you could have sold here and caught this massive massive move from here all the way down to here insane trade on the uptrend can you see how prices tap the 13 ema here so you could have bought right here you could have bought a game and caught this move going all the way up to here and this happens all the time. Look at look at a downtrend. Bearish. Price is below the 62 EMA. So we're looking for sells. Price has come up here, come up here. It's rejected off the 62 EMA, so you could have sold there. Price has come up. It's hovering around the 62 EMA. Sorry, the 13 EMA. Sell and then catch this move down. Price has come back up, it's hit the 13 AMA, then you sell. Price has come back up, it's hit the 13 EMAs, rejected. You can have your alert set up for this, and then you can sell. And again, price has come up, it's hovering around the 13 AMA, rejected, and then sell. So this is happening consistently. This is the way to make money in the markets by seeing these patterns over and over and over again. Training your RAS, Reticular Activating System. And I'm not going to backtest a lot of this because I'll leave that up to you. But as you can see, price is consistently hitting these 62 EMAs, the 13 EMAs. I mean, if you wanted to trade off the 5 EMA, you can. But I think it's a bit noisy and it's a bit more risky because it's slightly more tighter with price. But absolutely loving this 513.62 EMA crossover. Now, with the four-hour time frame, the setups don't happen every single day. You do have to be more patient. But I tend to prefer the four-hour time frame because I can get on with my day, do what I need to do, and not be worried about always looking at the charts and always having my alerts going off. However, I have looked at the lower time frames, like the one hour time frame, for example, and the and the lower time frames like 15 
um, five minute and it is fractal. It does happen on all the time frames, but that's more of a scalping strategy and I'm not down for that, but I will do some more videos in, in the future for the lower time frames. So really, really liking this strategy at the moment. And what I wanted to go over now is some some rules or some tri trade criteria. So if you want to just pause the video, but these are the ones I can think of at the moment. If I can think of any more, I will put it in the description. So we always buy low and sell high. Only buy above, I can't even spell above. 62 EMA only sell below 62 MA. The 513 62 crossover, you buy or sell. Twin trade price crosses 13 EMA, buy or sell depending on trend direction. Let's just put this there trend direction. Trade criteria seven twin trade TP1 liquidity grab of high. And then twin trade TP2 exit and hold flip or exit when you feel is good to exit. So this is the trade criteria. Now, what I wanted to go over quickly is I've created a brand new Telegram group called Trade Masters. I will leave the link in the description, but Trade Masters is free for everyone to join. And in Trade Masters, as it's brand new, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there at this moment in time, but I will potentially put some trade setups in there, maybe some trade signals and yeah just just post things as and when i think that be beneficial for everyone in that group just trying to grow a community and this group here will always be free now this trading strategy does work with most markets i've looked at i'm not going to flick to any markets at the moment and go over those are different markets and those are different pairs because the video will be too long. However, I have looked at gold. I have looked at Forex. I have looked at crypto. And this 513.62 EMA crossover does work in all the markets. The reason why I like US 30 is because it's just a lot more cleaner. And... It's just something that I've fallen in love with, really. US 30 is one of the best indices. It's one of the most traded instruments in the world. So US 30 is very, very good. But one thing that really frustrated me with trading US 30 was a lot of brokers do not let you trade US 30 on micro lots or, or mini lots like you could only trade it on standard lots and one was the standard lot minimum contract size. So therefore you had to have a big trading balance to even trade it. I'm talking like minimum a thousand pounds to even trade this. And that was a bit frustrating for me. I know a lot of people out there are not made of money and they don't have a lot of money to invest with. To, so to start with around £1,000 in trading, just, just to trade US 30 was slightly annoying. I've done so much research on this, trying to find brokers that allow you to trade US 30 on a micro or a mini, and it just found it to be very, very difficult. The other thing with my previous videos is I really like trading on C Trader. And at that time, there wasn't many brokers that use Trader. However, C Trader is getting very, very popular these days. I still use it to this day. And I managed to find a broker that uses C Trader, that has C Trader, sorry. And you can trade with micro and mini lots on US 30. And it was very, very, once I found that, I was very, very happy. So I've been testing this broker and all is good, really, really good broker. And what I've done is I've now partnered up with this 
broker and if you wanted to use this broker to trade something like us 30 you can use them they're called fp markets and with fp markets you can use c trader like i mentioned and fp markets is here okay this is fp markets they're based in australia they've won many awards and they are fantastic so like i mentioned i've partnered up with them i will leave the link below to sign up with fp markets you can sign up with them and trade on a demo account so this strategy if you wanted to test this strategy on a demo account feel free to do that and then once you've happy testing on a demo account and you want to go live i it's up to you you can use any broker you want to but if you wanted to use fp market to help this channel and to help it grow and just to give something back to myself or the or um just just give just give something back really then you can use my affiliate link to sign up with fp markets and when you sign up with fp markets with my affiliate link then in return i will open this up to my vip group in telegram it's the only way you can get into the vip group is you'll have to do a screenshot to show that you've signed up with my affiliate link and you've deposited money because there's no way i can find out your details through the broker but fp markets is looking very very good very very happy with them and i will continue to use them so i don't want to have this video too long but i will be posting some more videos in the future maybe we can go over some gold maybe we can go over some forex pairs and maybe do some trades show you how i trade that and i'm going to be posting a lot more trading videos so this was just kind of like an introduction to my new strategy how i'm trading it the broker i'm using and the group that i've created just to get involved and yeah make some make some money if this video has been helpful to you please subscribe to the channel i do have a lot more other trading videos i will be posting a lot more trading videos only using this strategy because trading multiple strategies does not work you have to stick to one strategy so by sticking to this one strategy and you're seeing it over and over and over again and you're testing it out as well you will start seeing results just like i have done so thanks for watching please subscribe and i will see you in the next one take care bye